What's going on everybody? Joe here with Excursion Cuts. I wanted to take a minute and share with you a feature that's new to Adobe Premiere Pro CC. This feature is one of many that was added to Adobe's April 2019 update to Creative Cloud. This release introduced several noteworthy features in Premiere, After Effects, Audition, and Photoshop, but I wanted to devote a single video to this particular feature. Every once in a while, Adobe releases an update that actually changes my post-production workflow for the better. And for me, this is that feature. I just got back from New York City and I shot a lot of footage. I shot this footage with two projects in mind. I'm gonna create a travel video so that my daughter will remember her first trip to New York. And of course, I wanted to create a photography tutorial for you guys. So I have a ton of footage here, as you can see. And I'd like to organize it in a way that helps me visualize which clips I'll be using for your tutorial and which clips I'll be using for my B-roll montage. So I've got my bin right here and I'm able to hover scrub over each of these clips to see what's in them, which we've been able to do for a while now. But what's new now is if I click on this button right here that looks like three different pieces of paper overlaid on one, on one another, you'll see that my clips change. In fact, if I hover over my project bin and I hit the tilde key, that will allow us to solo that panel. So this is what looks different. I can go through and look at all of my clips, but I've got this blank space right here. And what this view actually allows you to do is rearrange the clips to your liking. You're no longer bound by the metadata, you know, default organization of alphabetical or numerical order. You can actually just move these around and put them wherever you'd like. So we can group them together. We can set in and out points the way that we've always been able to do, but this will allow us to basically create a rough cut right here in the project bin. And then we can drag and drop the entire rough cut onto the timeline so that we have a big jump start on our project. So I'm just kind of looking at these clips right here. This was taken from the top of One World Trade Center looking down. Um, and then these, of course, right here were shot from Highline Park. So this is all of Chelsea. So maybe what I'll do is I'll move this clip over here and I'll just kind of keep all of my Highline shots together. As mentioned, I can still set in and out points. So maybe I'll do that for here. I'll just hit I for in, O for out. Now, I'm gonna come over here, hit the tilde key so I can bring the rest of my user interface back. And now with these organized this way, I can simply lasso around them to highlight them all and check this out. I can drag the entire thing onto the timeline. All right, folks, I'm really excited about this feature. I think this is really gonna make me a more efficient editor. What do you guys think? Will this help you out? Let me know in the comments below. I cover tutorials on photography and cinematography on this channel. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and tap that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.